Sunday, the church world, they say that this is the Holy Week. Amen. Amen. And because the week is holy, that means that you need to be holy. Come on, somebody. Amen. This is a great week. Amen. Beginning with this Palm Sunday up until the resurrection of Jesus Christ. No, I don't call it. I may slip up every now and then and call it Easter. Amen. Or something like that. But it is Resurrection Sunday. Amen. And let me remind you. Amen. Rabbits don't lay no eggs. Amen. They have babies. Amen. amen. And, and can I get a witness? Amen. Can I say amen? amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. amen. And I'm not downing you for having eggs and stuff like that because I love the, um, the children and how happy they are. But tell them the truth about it. Don't tell them that chicken laid that egg. Come on. <laughs> Go on and tell them the truth. If it ain't no Easter rabbit, come on, Peter Cotton Tail, come on, hopping along the bonnet trail, hippity hop, hippity hop, come on somebody, come on y'all, bringing his Easter eggs, Lord, I tell you the world, oh, anything that they can do to shine the light off of the real reason and the real cause, they would do just that, Amen. I want you to turn with me and get your Bibles, amen, and we're just going to talk a little bit, amen, about who is this, amen. amen, who is this, amen, I'm not talking about who is your girlfriend or your boyfriend or who you were with last night, I'm talking about who is this, and we're going to find out in the word of God, amen, I know what some of you been up to. Amen. But I'm not here to criticize you or condemn you. Amen. I'm not here to tell you to stop that blunt or anything like that. You can only stop that by the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God. And this is the reason why I tell you to get in with God. Come on, somebody. Ouch. You can say, ouch, your only one. Amen. 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 I want you to get your Bibles and turn with me to the book of John. Amen. I want you to read. And I think as, instead of saying the word A, the word A-S-S, it's in the Bible. We're going to call it a donkey. We're going to do it with the Amplified Bible says. Amen. Because some of you would get too carried away with that word. And then it's in the, like somebody told me something. It's an H in the Bible. Yeah, but you're not going to use it. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. And I said, you know what? You know, kids or something else, man. Anything that they can use to get out of that little thing to say a little bad word and thing. Well, it's in the Bible. Amen. But it's how you use it. Uh -huh. It's how you use it. Amen. The Lord I have mercy. Somebody better say amen. Oh, yes. There's a lot of things that in the Bible. But we got to use wisdom on how we say it. Amen. Go with me to the book of John, and I want you to read. Let's begin with the 12th chapter. And I got a bunch of scriptures, and I want my title of my message is, Who is this? It was a, a question that was asked by one of the people. They wanted to know this person that was doing the things that he was doing. Amen. Amen. And, and, and the only way that you can know about him. You got to hear about it. That's right. You got to read about it. You may hear testimony about it. Right. Testimonies That's about right. it. That how good and how great he is. Yes. Amen. Yes. Bow your heads with one. Father God, I thank you for all things in the name of Jesus. Bless this word, yes. God, in yes. Jesus' name. And we know your word is anointed and blessed. Father, bless the ears of the recipients in the name of Jesus. Let them receive this word on good ground. In Jesus' name, I pray that it bring forth a hundredfold. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. amen. If you got the book of John, amen, amen. beginning with the 12th verse. Amen. amen. I want you to start with that ninth verse. If you could just stand on your feet with me, if you know that this, if you don't feel like standing, you feel like you've got some aches and pain and feel like that your knees won't stand up and give out on you. Amen. I, I, you can sit down. Amen. You can still raise your hands that this is the word of God. Amen. 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 Say it. This is the word of God. Amen. I understand. I understand. Amen. Go with me to the book of John. Let go with the 12th uh, chapter.
chapter, and let's read in concert, beginning with the ninth verse. Read. Much people of the Jews, therefore knew that he was there. Uh-huh. And they hated not what Jesus said. Only. Mm -hmm. But that they might see Lazarus also. And see, that's another story, amen, that I'm going to be doing on next Sunday, amen, about they came out, they heard about Jesus, but they came out because they was inquisitive about the miracle that he raised up Lazarus from the dead. And that when we see a miracle, we always want to comply it and line it up with something natural that happened. We'll say, oh, that wasn't a miracle. That just was going to happen. Come on, somebody. But we got to find out that Jesus is a miracle worker. Amen. Amen. Read on. Now listen at that. Jesus raised the dead, raised up Lazarus, but here come the chief priests. Oh, let me, oh, let me back it up. Here come those big apostles and prophets and the ministers. Uh huh. The big bishop said, "You know what? Let's put Lazarus back to death because you know why they wanted to do that because so many. It's right there. Read on." <laughs> But but that because that by reason of him many of the Jews went away. Uh huh. Uh huh. That tradition was getting ready to be broken up. That doctrine was getting ready to be denied and saying that it's not true. That every good that every good thing can no good thing come out of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. But when you got the anointing and the power of God in your life, can no devil in hell tell you anything? Come on, somebody. The devil can't stand before you because you got the spirit of God down on the inside of you. Amen. Read on. On the next day, much people that were coming to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. Now listen, they heard about a man that Jesus was coming. They heard about his miracle. They heard about how he healed the sick, how he raised the dead, how he opened the eyes of the blind. Come on, somebody. They heard about Jesus. And what happened? They took what? Planted an palm tree and went out to a mountain uh -huh. and cried out. Yes. Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed. Blessed is the king of Israel uh -huh. that cometh in the name of the Lord. Listen to what they said. My God, my they God. cried out and said, Hosanna. Hosanna means that it's a cry of praise or adoration to God when you know who he is. See, the reason some of us can't praise him, y'all ain't got to know who he is yet. Come on, somebody. Oh, my God, my God. Amen. 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 I'm going to give you another scripture. Go with me to the book of Matthew, the 21st chapter. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Go ahead. You got it, Ebony. 21 and begin it with the ninth verse. 21 and 9. Come on, y'all got it? Y'all got it? Yes. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Read. And the multitude that went before. Uh huh. And those who found Christ said, Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Uh huh. In the highest. Read the 10th verse. And when he was coming to Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? What, what, what did the city say? What? Who is this? Who is this? Read the 11th verse. And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Listen. 
cursing at this thing yes, that going on. <laughs> Amen. Hear Jesus. Amen. Begin to ride a donkey. Yes, Amen. Right. And that's another scripture that I had coming into Jerusalem. Uh -huh. But he told them, listen, I want you to go over there. Jesus walked by foreknowledge. Right. He walked by predestinated knowledge that he had. And to know everything that was going on. Yes. Let me tell you. If you have never experienced that, I ask you to get in Jesus all the way. Amen. Sometimes I see things before it happens. And I'm like, amen. I just had that dream. I just saw that. I just seen this. Amen. And sometimes I, I flip my kids out. Sometimes, I, man, I can get on them hard. I can get on my children hard. I'm going to tell you, I don't curse them out. I don't say anything. But I real with something wrong. Somebody better say amen. amen. But and, and sometimes God show you things to come. Show you things that get ready to happen. And I remember the time, y'all remember when I told you all that I saw two people that were shot in this, in, in this congregation. And I told you all one of the ones lived like my grandson. And I went to crying out to God because saw it, but I didn't know that sooner or later, later on down the line, that somebody was going to pull a gun to his head. Somebody better say amen. amen. Let me tell you that there is no power greater than our God. Can you say amen? amen. Let me tell you that God knows all things. Yeah. When you think you hide and stuff, exactly. God has to uh -huh. reveal it right on to you. That person or that child of God or that minister or that pastor, sometimes he revealed things unto that mother. She said, uh uh, I know you're lying. I know you're not doing. You didn't go where you were supposed to go. The Holy Ghost told me what you did. And I remember they were laughing at me one time. They said, Now you don't know nothing about street sense. I got Holy Ghost sense. And I would take that over street sense anytime. Because my Holy Ghost sense would tell me when danger is ahead. When your street sense don't tell you nothing. Somebody better say amen. Glory to God. That Holy Ghost sense will show you when something is going wrong. Can you say amen? amen. See, people don't believe in that. One man asked me, he said, you know what, when you said that uh, about that uh, a young man was over on this side and God was trying to touch him, and I remember I started to go to that young man and tell him that God is dealing with you. He said, I don't know, what, what, what is that? Do you work witchcraft? They don't believe in nothing about the gifts and the calling of God and the fruit of the Spirit. Come on, somebody. They don't believe in that. They only believe in what they can see. But I believe in the supernatural power of God. I believe that God got angels about us that fear him. Somebody better say yes up in here. I believe that God can protect you from things you see and unseen. Can you say amen? People don't understand that. But these young, these, these, and I'm going to read that, the multitude began to say, now listen at what they say. <laughs> listen. I sound like some of us. The multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth, of Galilee. They didn't have eyes to see that he was greater than a prophet. That's right. He was the Messiah. Yeah, right. He did everything that Isaiah prophesied about him. Amen. Come on, somebody. He rode on a donkey. And back in biblical times, kings would ride on a donkey to show humility. Somebody better say amen because they get ready to be great. Somebody better say yes, Lord. But I want to know, let you know that God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Whatever he did back then, he's doing it right now, even in greater measures. Somebody better say amen. The multitude heard about this man was coming. And they said, and when they heard everybody 
saying, Hosanna. Yes, Lord. To the son of David. And the Bible told us in the book of Isaiah how they prophesied. Yes, and Matthew 1 and 1 will tell you about the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Yes, that he came all the way down yes. from 14 generations. Come on, somebody. Yes, and he was that root of Jesse. The Bible said, come on, somebody. Yes. Amen. And y'all got to understand. And yes. that Matthew 1 and 1, you can't stop that bloodline. You can't stop the anointing and the power of God. Somebody better say amen. I want to let you know that if you connect it to that bloodline of Jesus, glory to God, you will know who he is. Somebody better say amen. Listen. Yes, Lord. Hosanna. Listen. And, and they just didn't cry. Hosanna. And one passage of scripture said they took what? Palm branches. That's right. And they began to get the palm branches. And begin, and we got to do that in a few minutes. That's right. Amen. And we're going to praise the Lord up in here. We're going to cry Hosanna. Amen. Because we got to cry. Amen. A praise unto our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the author and the finisher of this Bible. Somebody better say amen. He is Alpha. He is Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Somebody better say amen. You got to know who he is. That's the reason why the world can say different things because they don't know him. They don't know who this is. <laughs> who is this? Somebody better say amen. Go over to God. They should have got somebody that was anointed and say he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. He is the promised Messiah. Glory to God that Isaiah said he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. Glory to God that chastisement. Glory to God and I was sin shall be upon his shoulder. Do you You got to know who this is. Yes. Amen. Jesus. Who is this? Yes. Glory to God. I want you to turn with me now. Get your Bibles. Amen. I'm going to go quickly through uh, 21. Go to the 15th verse. You already have 21. Go to the 15th verse. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you children. Pay attention. Hands up. Come on, children. Listen at this. Now you can say what up. Glory to God. Listen. Listen. 21 and 15, it says, And when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that what? He did. And what else? And the children crying in the temple and saying what? Hosanna to the son of David. They were so displeased when the men, when they heard them say that. And they said unto him, uh, he's, here is doubt what these say. And Jesus said unto them, yea, have you never read? Out of the mouth of babes and suckling, thou hast perfected praise. That's going to be somebody that's going to praise Jesus. Somebody better say amen. If you don't want to get in with him, if you don't want to lift him up, if you don't want to glorify his name, God would move on the children. That baby may say goo goo Somebody better say amen. Jesus said, he said, if these don't praise me, what did he say? What the rocks are going to cry out. What are you talking about the rocks? Those ones that got a stony heart. Those ones that not saved. Those ones that may be in the hell houses. Somebody better say amen. Those ones that may be prostitutes. Somebody better say yes. Those ones that the churches don't want them in that church. But God said, I'm going to pour out of my spirit upon all. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Somebody better say yes. God, 
is still moving by his spirit and moving on the children. When I was in revival in Alabama, amen, Costa was there. That was about 20 kids. Every out of the car was down. Those children was crying. They were screaming. Yes, and they were just crying because of the presence and the power of God that was in the building. And I told them to get over on this side. It was about 20 kids lifting up their hands and crying. Yes. How old were they, Sister Carolyn? Some of them were five years or six and seven years old. Eight and nine and ten. The Bible said... Come, perfect praise, and where praise is perfected. And when they was crying, and I started praying for all of them, and some of them started speaking in tongues. Young children and babes. Let me tell y'all. Y'all can sit back. Think y'all got all the knowledge. Think you got all the Holy Ghost. Think you got all the Spirit of God. See, God loves humility. And God wants us to be humble. Amen. God is going to be moving upon these children. These children going to start prophesying. These children going to start speaking forth the Spirit of God. The children going to start saying something. Who is this? That's what the rest of them going to want to know. Who are the ones? Those are the ones. Are those babes in Christ that born again and watching the blood of the Lamb. Who Y'all better say something up in here. Amen. God is doing a great and a marvelous. Here it is. The people got upset because the children was crying. This happened to me when I was at a church. Ellen was there. And the, children, the spirit of God came in there. The children, it was like about, we had about 30 kids up there. And they started crying. And I was playing. We were singing that song by Jesus. I love you because he cared. Yes. And the spirit moved in that. See, God honor praise. He honors praise. And all of those children started crying. And then the pastor jumped up. The same one that criticized me. The same ones that talked about me. And the same ones that talk about that's not the spirit of God. He opened his arm like this and fell flat. Oh. Mm. 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 The Holy Ghost yes. knocked him out. Mm. And he stayed out there on that floor. And the children was crying. And they came to me. Stop playing. Stop playing that music. I said, they me playing the music. <laughs> it's the spirit of God that's in here. You see how people want to get you. If they can't control the situation... They, want, they, they don't like for something that they can't control. Right. See, this is why the Bible said where the spirit of the Lord is, that's liberty. We got liberty to praise God, to shout, to jump up and give God all the praise. Right. Amen. Amen. So these children was crying out, Hosanna! Hosanna! And they said, bless is he that cometh in the name of, of the Lord. Somebody better say amen. You don't hear people crying out Hosanna today. You don't hear people crying out. First name is a bishop. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that woman love. I better keep it out there. Come on, somebody. My pastor. Come on, somebody. That's what I tell people. You look to Jesus. Look unto him. Come on, somebody. He's the one that can save you. He's the one that can deliver you. Come on, somebody. But this is what was going on. The Pharisees, the scribes, the chief priests, they said, who this is? Who is this? They couldn't recognize who he was. I can show sure. I can see them looking at that doctrine and looking at their laws trying to find out who this man is that gives sight to the blind. Somebody better see us who made the lame walk, who cast out devils. Somebody better see us. Glory to God who took up the children and blessed them. Glory to God. They could not recognize who he was. But the children did. The children had enough sense to recognize. 
recognize him when he come in the midst of this congregation? Do you recognize him when he stepped out and you could feel the presence of the almighty God in this place? Somebody better say yes. You need to learn how to say Hosanna. Blesses he who cometh in the name of the Lord. We need to learn how to lift Jesus up. We need to learn how to glorify him. Somebody better say Oh, I have mercy. Go with me now to Mark 11 and 9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? amen? Do you know who is this? Yes, who you serve? Do you know his name? I'm not talking about Buddha. I'm not talking about Confucius. I'm not talking about Muhammad. I'm not talking about Donald Trump. Somebody better say amen. I'm talking about somebody that's higher than he is. Somebody better say amen. Higher than they are. Mark 11 and 9. Somebody read that quickly for me. 11, 9, and 10. And somebody get John 12 and 13. Come on, y'all. I'll read it. And they that went before, uh -huh. and they that followed, uh -huh. saying, Hosanna. Listen, if you following him, if you walking before him, you need to learn how to have a praise on your lips. You need to learn how to lift up your hands and glorify God. We don't care. Nine and ten. Hosanna. Uh huh. Blessed is he that cometh. Yes. Uh huh. Blessed be the kingdom of our Father David. Yeah. That cometh in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Yes. In the yes. Hosanna in the highest. The highest. A names and praise and adoration we can give unto our God. And that's Hosanna. Amen. We come to give you all the glory and the praise. Hosanna. Amen. Amen. Read that next scripture for me. John 12 and 13. Hallelujah. Come on. Don't be scared. Read. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Blessed is the King of Israel. Yes. In the name of the Lord. Yes. Notice that each and every one of these scriptures saying, Blessed is he who cometh what? In the name of the Lord. He didn't come in his own name. You got so many ministries coming in their own name. Y'all better come on and say something. Y'all don't like that. Y'all don't like that. Yeah, but we need to learn how to lift Jesus up. And lift him up on high. Somebody better say amen. amen. He, they said, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When are we going to start putting that? This man cannot preach except God be with him. Come on. That woman cannot heal except God be with them. It has to be the Lord. When, they, when, when the disciples, when they used to follow Jesus and walk with Jesus, listen. Then when they walk with him, the Bible said that they considered them as unlearned men, dumb and unlearned men. But when they had that relationship with God, somebody better say yes. yes. Oh yeah, Peter denied him. Can you say amen? Yes. But when Peter found out exactly who he was, come on somebody, on the day of Pentecost, glory to God, the Bible said they were all the seven on the house of
and then you go back. Somebody better say amen. amen. All those spirits that left out of you, you're going to get seven more. On each and every one that came out, somebody better say amen. It's the truth in the way. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Bless is he that come in the name of the Lord. And when it was on the day of Pentecost, and the Holy Ghost began to come, Glory to God as the sound of a rushing mighty wind. Somebody better say yes. Oh, they began to receive that new wine. I'm not talking about that wine that you buy out of the liquor store. I'm not talking about that fifth of wick twisty. Come on, somebody, that you get out of the liquor store. Some of you know about your gym being. Some of you know about wine. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Say amen. amen. Do you know who is this? Who is this man that we serve in today? Do you know all of the accolades that belong to him? Do you know everything about Jesus? Have you tried Jesus? Have you found him to be a friend of yours? Somebody better say amen. amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Faithful. Yes, Lord. When the Spirit of God came in the house where everyone was sitting, yes. they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. And the people heard the noise of God. Somebody better say amen. I remember years ago how the Spirit of God used to come up in the churches. We used to holler, scream, praise the Lord, bless the name of Jesus. Some of the mothers were rolling. Somebody better say amen because something got a hold of her. Somebody better say amen when you see that saucer that say I went to the church one night. My heart wasn't right, but something got a hold of her. Somebody better say yes. Glory to God when you get Jesus down on the inside. Somebody better say yes. 